They say all good things must come to an end, and it is time to wind down Select Retail on the channel. The Golden Goose, we've done a ton of videos of Select. Now it's time to talk about which of the three mega boxes is the best. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Run Good in the house coming at you with a brand new video. And we're going back to the well one more time because I have more select retail for you guys. You guys know I cannot get enough of this stuff. Today we have the Walmart Mega Box, the Target Mega Box, and the Hobby Mega Box. Which one is the best? We're going to talk about all three of them in today's video. But first, if you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. As always, I do appreciate a like on my content. We've gotten, what, four to five select retail videos, and I'm going to be honest, this is probably the greatest retail product of all time. Hanger boxes, blaster boxes, mega boxes. Uh, one of the greatest that we've ever seen. This product is juiced as far as retail goes. Now, we have gotten dusted. We've also hit some monster cards, and that is a true look at how retail goes because these boxes have the opportunity to hit a... You have an opportunity to hit a... $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 black, uh, gold, white, Wemby, one of one. You also have the opportunity to buy, spend $60 and get $30, $3 worth of cards back. Because that is also a reality. And they've made three different mega boxes. And you might be wondering which one is the best. What's the difference? And that's what we're going to talk about today. The most common mega box is going to be your Walmart exclusive. With the blue cracked ices, uh, you're going to get 32 cards in these. And uh, these are the most commonly readily available, selling on the secondary market for about $65 to $70. And uh, yeah, you can hit 101s once again. Also, you can hit elephants, or uh, that has uh, elephants right here. Uh, elephant is the retail exclusive, super short print. These are going to be the target mega right here. Uh, these are going to have the red cracked ice, and you're going to get 40 cards. So you're getting two extra red cracked ice, two extra packs per box. Once again, shares the same parallels with the other Mega, so you're going to get the uh, green or the pink Prisms to 99 all the way down to the black, white, gold 101s. And once again, Tigers are in. You can hit 101 autos, as, or uh, not Tigers, sorry, Elephants are in. And then you've got this fun one, which is a totally different product. Uh, this one's going to once again have 40 cards, and these are called the Hobby Megas. These were uh, distributed to Hobby Shops. Uh, they used to formerly be known Fanatics Exclusive Megas because they have the green shocks. Uh, blasters have the green ice, so Hobby Blasters. And these have the Tigers and the Elephants. So these and the Blasters are the only places, these and the Hobby Blasters, are the only places to get Tigers. These usually resell a little bit higher. These are usually about 80. And then these sell for 85 to 100 is what I've seen. They make less of these than they do the other. The one that they make the most is going to be the Walmart, and that's the one that we are going to open first today. And once again, before I open these, it does not matter what we pull. Uh, I am strictly talking about the products in general. So we're very results-orientated, opening only one of each. Uh, but I'm going to go on record right now, say that my favorite of the Mega Boxes is going to be the uh, Target with the Red Cracked Ice. They don't make as many of those for some reason as they do the Walmarts. It might be because the distribution deal with Walmart is just bigger and they need more mega boxes to supply those shelves. I don't know. Um, but for whatever reason, these only have 32 cards. And this one is my least favorite of the three. This one seems like it is the hardest to hit out of. And as I say that, we'll probably hit a little damage on that corner right there. Uh, but we've seen many, many of these megas on the channel in the group breaks. So I'm probably not telling you anything that you don't know. But if you have an opportunity to buy one of these Megas, I would go with one of the other two over one of these. Uh, there's Keldon, Jalen Pickett, Silver, and Kobe Jones. At this stage of the game, I also would not recommend grading your base Wembys, unless, uh, except if they're courtside or maybe premier level. We're seeing damage in these. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty bad corner up there. Thankfully, it's just on that first base card, though, and then they can find Jaime Jaquez on the green neon icons, and there's going to be Omax for Dallas. Um, I would recommend still sending in your Wembys and maybe, you know, your Brandon Millers and Scoots, uh, Cracked Ices, of course, all your numbered stuff as well, but I have a feeling that when it's all said and done, 
the base Wemby, the retail base blue Wemby, is going to be one of the most graded cards of all time. So I think even if you get a gem at some point in the very near future, those are going to be like $25, $30 cards. Probably not worth the price of grading. Brandon Miller on the Rookie Rev and a Pods Premier Level re uh, Blue Cracked Ice. Of the three retail parallels, I think the green shocks are going to be the most coveted. Uh, the blues, they just, I've seen so many of them at this point. I'm kind of kind of over TBH. Uh, there's a bonus and SGA. For some reason, also with these Walmart Megas, it seems like the first round of them, and this is, this is tinfoil hat talk right here. The first round of them seem to be juiced. A lot of golds being hit. I've seen a lot of golds, and I saw a lot of really, really big cards out of retail on Twitter the first couple of weeks, and the longer it goes, the less hits I see. Uh, there's Cade Cunningham on the tricolor premier level and Steph Curry on the cracked ice. So I don't know. I don't know if some of the people believe that front loading is a thing and that they put all the big hits in the first wave, and then when the second wave comes out, there, you know, there's nothing left. Very real, very possible, because uh, in recent weeks, the more I open up these in our breaks and the more I just degen rip one, I very rarely see color. Jaron Jackson and Donovan Mitchell. Even the 299 seem to be harder to hit now than they were on the you know first couple weeks of the release. See if we have any color here. We've had a damage card in just about every pack. That first card has always been damaged. There's been Shepard, Sabonis, Ant on the silver, and Derek Lively. That was a rough mega, so... I expect nothing, and I'm still let down. Do you guys remember at the start of the video how I talked about spending $60 and turning it into, uh, let's see, two, four, five, six, into, into about eight bucks? Yeah, that, that was a perfect example. How to turn $60 into eight dollars right there. So that mega did not treat us well. Not being results orientated today. Once again, that's just my least favorite of the three megas. This one's going to fall in the middle. The red cracked ice are nice. These seem to hit a little more often. Might just be placebo once again. I don't know. I don't have any concrete evidence to prove that the hits come out of these more than the Walmarts. Um, but I like these for the extra two packs. And if you can find them at the same price as the Walmarts or even, you know, $5 more, get those extra two packs. You're going to get two extra chances out of Wemby red cracked ice. And uh, yeah, so I like these, and then I also like the select, uh, the hobby. I'm not sure which one I like more. So these, you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one opportunities. These are going to have tiger opportunities. Um, I feel like this one, just in general, feels like it's easier to hit with the tigers. You aren't going to have the one-on-one -on -one opportunities, so the, so the lowest number card, and these are going to be to 175, and that's going to be the maroon. But for some reason, I feel like that one's still a little more premium. I'm not sure why. Embiid, and there is DeRozan. So I think for me, maybe even these two are a tie just because they are so different. In this one, you're chasing after Golds to 10 and the one of ones, of course. But those are very, very long shot, long odds cards. Whereas in the other one, you are chasing elephants and tigers. And tigers of the, of the animal prints between elephants and tigers... Tigers are going to sell for more. Paulo on the red cracked ice right there. So I think both of these have their pros and cons. I talked about the Hobby Mega and the Hobby Blaster in a previous video. So be sure to watch that if you want even more in depth on those. DeAndre Ayton on the tricolor and a little Osser Thompson. Osser on the red cracked ice. You know, that Osser is a card that I would probably consider sending in for grading if, like, SGC or PSA was running, like, a $12 special or something like that. I would definitely send in this one, too. There's going to be a Neon Icons of Wemby. And then Chet, a little PC card right there. Deciding how much second-year Chet stuff I want to go after. I really haven't decided if I want to go after any of it or I just want to focus on his rookie stuff, which you guys have seen my Chet collection here on the channel. Um, yeah, I really haven't decided how much second year stuff of his I'm going after. Uh, Ben Shepard. And there's going to be Desmond Bain. So you get these two extra packs. See if it matters. See if we can find ourselves a red cracked ice Wemby. That's going to be Jalen Pickett and Keontae. I heard your comment section on my optic video. You guys were mad because I didn't mention Keontae as one of the top signers. Yes, Keontae is signing. He's one of the top signers. In the class, but he plays for Utah. That means his uh, 
his value is is limited because Utah is not a big market team. Jairus Walker on the mezzanine and Jordan Hawkins for the Pellies. Another good player from this class, but plays in New Orleans. So when we talk about big market teams, of course, we're talking about LA, New York, Boston, Golden State. Uh, rookies on those teams just get so much more. Ooh, purple on the back? Purple to 99. I told you guys that target megas were easier to hit from for some reason. Uh, there's Buckets and LaMelo, Devin Vassell, and we do have at least one numbered card today. Can we do it again? Courtside? Not a rookie courtside? Ooh, but it was a spur. Keldon Johnson. Oh, man, we have a Spurs courtside to 99. 13 of 99, Keldon. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine if that had been Wemby? We've hit so many really nice retail Wembys. If I just somehow pop another one out of one of these three Megas, I don't know. Kelton worth a little bit. Not nearly as much as his teammate, though. Uh, we have Amen. Rookie Rev of Jalen Hood Shafino. And once again, another Jalen Hood Shafino. All right, one pack of the Target Mega left. And then we will check out another Hobby Exclusive Mega. We did one in a different video, but uh, we're going back for seconds. Uh, Jordan Miller and Jalen Green on the team color red. I like that one. Okay, final mega of the day. I think Target is currently, if we're looking at hits, Target's ahead. But this is one I, I've had high hopes for as I as base cards just tumble everywhere off the screen. Professional YouTuber here. Um, all right, here we go. Select Hobby Mega. These were previously called Fanatics Exclusives. And now, of course, Panini and Fanatics are embroiled in a blood feud, so. I want you out of my f***ing house. You know, no way keep us happy. This is my house now. They don't do business like that anymore. At least I don't think. I don't know. Uh, but these are, once again, no one-of-ones except for the uh, select committee signatures. So no one-of-one mezzanines. Unlike the other two megas, the ceiling on these are just going to be inherently lower because you don't have opportunities at golds or 101s, but you have opportunities at tigers. And the green shocks are going to sell for a bit more than all of the other, you know, cracked ices, tectonics, things like that. So the green shocks are going to be printed less if you hit a nice rookie or even a LeBron courtside or something of that nature. I would absolutely recommend you send it in uh, to grading. And we're going to kick off with DeAndre Ayton. I would not recommend that you send in DeAndre Ayton's grading. It's just going to be that green shock, in my opinion. You know, here's a look at the three parallels. You have the reds, the blues, and the green shock. In my opinion, the green shock just looks really good. It looks really good. It just kind of has, I don't know. It might just be the fact that the Fanatics exclusives in previous years were harder to get. They always sold out really, really quick. And then they sold for a premium on the secondary market. So my mind always associates the green parallels with Fanatics and them being harder to acquire. So that's how I work. I still think the reds look better than the blues, though, as far as the cracked ices go. Uh, all right, Aiton, though. Not, no value there. Let's see if we can see a Tiger today. Tiger would be kind of the kind of the dream out of one of these. Have a Tiger sweat. Chris uh, Livingston, Derek Lively, and the Joker. Green, uh, green, uh, green Wave? What? Why am I, my mind just just blanked hello anybody home on the green shock my mind just literally shut off right there i don't know uh we have scotty barnes michael Porter jr on the mezzanine and there's gonna be amen thompson on the uh qu concourse level green shock might have might have ripped too much retail i might have the might have the retail fever or something like that we've just done a ton of this on the channel and this is probably going to be our final retail select video. I can't imagine doing another one. Green Shock of Jalen Green. Last name match right there. Green Shock of Jalen Green. Show us a tiger. Bring out the tiger. One time. Tricolor is going to be Mikel Bridges. And a rookie revolution of Amon Thompson. I know it's Amen. I know it's Amen Thompson. I always just say oh, man, I don't know why. It's just a thing. I know I know what his name is, and I still can't say it right. Uh, Zion Williamson, Julian Strother, and Jimmy Buckets. Is Buckets playing in LA next year? Is that the is that the rumor? 
how do the Lakers make that happen on a on a financial level? It, it makes no sense to me. Got a silver and another green shock. There's going to be Tamani Kamara on the court side. Silver, another spur, but not the one we're looking for. And that's going to be Derek Lively on the green shock. All right. We need to heat up in these last few packs of the day. I want to thank you for joining me as we rip three mega boxes and say goodbye to select retail until next year. And unfortunately, in next year's class, there is no Wemby. And no, but no Wemby equivalent. Uh, man, basketball next year is going to be interesting to rip. This year it was so much fun. Jalen Hood Shafino on the green shock. You know what would be fun in these last two packs? Oh, Tiger. I'm trying to, I'm trying to manifest it. I'm trying to make it happen. Bring out the Tiger! Trying to make it happen. Not in here. Uh, Darius Garland, Damian Lillard, and DeAndre Ayton. All right. Last pack of the day. Last chance for a big hit as we say goodbye to Retail Select forever. Last pack magic? YouTuber? Influencer? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. We did not do it. We don't have a tiger. Hello? Hello? We have a courtside Julius Randle. I don't think that's numbered. That is not numbered. And we're going to end with the Joker on the Neon Icon Silver. So... I think this video was a pretty good exercise in how to turn $200 into, I don't know, $20? <coughs> I think I'm getting the black lung pop. May maybe $25? Do I hear $30? Uh, take a look at the hits today or lack thereof. Because all three megas kind of skunked us. Uh, here's a look. Of the three, I think the target was probably the best. Maybe. Maybe some of these shocks are three, four dollars each. I don't know. Um, a lot of calm sea fodder for my check out my cards portfolio. Only one numbered card. It did come from the target mega, and that was the Keldon Johnson. And then neon icons of Wemby. So overall, as we wrap up as a PSA for the future, if you are thinking about ripping one of the greatest retail products of all time. My pick would either be the Target Mega Box or the Hobby Mega. The Walmart is going to be the most available. That's the one that you're probably going to see. If you're watching this video six months from now, that is the one that you're very likely going to see. All three are fine. Two of them, the Walmart and the Target, have the one of one chases and the golds to 10. If you can get the Target, go with the Target. If you want to chase after Tigers and, in my opinion, some of the, uh, some of the uh, retail parallels, the green shocks, are going to hold their value a little bit better over time. If you want the safe play, the very safe play, go with the mega or the uh, hobby exclusive mega box. Otherwise, go with the target. Which one is your favorite? Leave me a comment below, and that is going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. We'll catch you next time on Down the Road.